Hi, I'm Eric Siegel, and welcome to episode 51 of Eric's Trains. Okay, so it is Christmas week 2014. It's a few days before Christmas, and it is a cold and dreary day here in Atlanta. But we're going to have some fun despite the weather. I'm on my way over to Legacy Station, which is in Lilburn, Georgia. That's the train store that I buy most of my O-Scale trains from. And I'm going over there today to pick up the new Lionel Vision Line Union Pacific Big Boy. So this is going to be a lot of fun. This is a model that a lot of people have been waiting for. Very exciting. It's not that the Big Boy has never been done before in O-Scale. It has. But this is a Vision Line Big Boy. And the Vision Line is the best of the best. So this is probably going to be the best O-Scale Big Boy ever made. Not to mention, probably one of the best O-Scale engines ever made. So it's very, very exciting. Now, I read a few days ago that Lionel actually added a couple extra features into the engine that were not mentioned in the catalog. I don't recall exactly what they were. I think they were sound features. I know that one was a drift chuff feature where the sound of the articulated drivers get in and out of sync with each other as the engine operates. MTH has been doing this with their articulated steamers for a while, and it's great to see that Lionel has added it for the big boy. So this is really exciting. We should be to Legacy Station in about 20 or 25 minutes barring traffic, and traffic is pretty good right now. So once we get there, we will go inside and check out the new Vision Line big boy. All right, here we are, let's go in. Okay, here we are at Legacy Station and let's go over to the demo track area and there is the Vision Line big boy. I ordered the number 4014, like most people probably did, I'm sure, because of the um, restoration work that's going on on the current 4014. But there it is, let's go ahead and open it and get it on the track. And here's the star of the video, Brian, <laughs> owner of Legacy Station. For some reason I thought the box would be bigger, but uh, it's actually not bad. There it is. Typical Vision Line box. Mm -hmm. It's always good to see. Now the tricky part is getting it out. This is where Barrett might come in handy. <laughs> Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> the best part about these things is that smell of new train when you first open the box. <laughs> it's that styrofoamy, plasticky paint smell. Mm -hmm. Smells like Christmas morning to me. And there we go. So this is, I'm guessing this is the sensor track that comes with it? Yeah, there's the sensor track. And then there's the um, power supply for the sensor track. And there we have it. Want to unwrap it? Awesome. I bet it's going to sound like a beast. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> As with most Vision Line engines, the fun part is the features. And as I said in the car, you know, it's not like the big boy hasn't been done before. It's just this is a Vision Line big boy, and that makes it something different. Okay, there it is, the Vision Line Big Boy in all its glory. Looks fantastic. And if I'm not getting the detail shots you want, don't worry. Like I said, I will be doing a review on this in the near future. There's a separately applied whistle piece that you have to attach. And then they've also got this cover that goes on the smokestacks. I'll go more into that when I do the review. But let's go ahead and start it up and give it a listen. Union Pacific 4014, do you copy? Over. Roger that. Union Pacific 4014, I copy that. Over. 
parts the whistle. It's got a great smoking whistle there. This is Union Pacific 4014. I'm made up. Am I clear to the outbound? Over. Yes, 4014. You are cleared outbound. Over. Acknowledged. I've got clear board. Check out the smoke here. <laughs> this is really cool. awesome. It's also got the depleting coal feature. It's very slow, very realistic. I'm gonna do it for a minute, and if you watch carefully, you'll see the coal go down. It's very noisy when it does it. <laughs> I'm not going to take it down all the way right now. I'll do that during the review. And then if I want to put it back up, let's see if I can do that. There it goes. And of course, as everyone probably knows, that's the demonstration mode. When you actually run the engine, it automatically depletes the coal load as you're running the engine. So that after you've run it for a while, the coal load actually gets low and then you have to reload the coal. It's really cool. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the preview of the Big Boy. It is a fantastic engine and Lionel really did a great job. It was worth the wait. And by the way, I didn't show you every single feature in detail on the engine. I will do that when I do the full review. I will probably start filming that review in the next day or two and maybe if we're lucky, I'll be able to get it up on YouTube before the new year. But it's just a fantastic model. You guys are gonna love it. Now, a bit of trivia is that when Legacy Station got the delivery of the big boys, they actually got it on a Sunday night. They had a special courier that came down from Washington and delivered it directly to Legacy Station. They got several pallets of them. And actually, the guy was also delivering a couple pallets of the big boys to Lionel's headquarters in Concord, North Carolina. But he actually delivered them to Legacy Station before Lionel even got there. So I thought that was pretty cool. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for the full review. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time. I hate Atlanta traffic. <laughs>